how to create the final HAL RGB. Um, this is the technique I said I would mention. It, it just I just thought it might be interesting to you. Um, some of you may know it, but I find it works the best for me. So in this image, I've got the LRGB as the background. I've imported my HA mosaic into Photoshop, selected it, copied it, and pasted it as a layer one over the background image. And I want to create the red of the H alpha with the LRGB. Many, many uh, tutorials I've read would say, put the H alpha in the red channel of the image, use it to enhance that, um, put a little bit of it in the blue channel. And I've used that on some images successfully, but I haven't, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I've struggled to make that work reliably and consistently and get good vibrant detail in the red. So I choose to do something different now. I picked the technique up from uh, a tutorial myself. Um, I didn't create this, but I just thought I'd mention it because I find it works well for the majority of hydrogen alpha with LRGB. And what you do, Hydrogen alpha is the black and white layer above the LRGB. What you do at this stage is you put the H alpha in lighten mode. So it's going to blend the H alpha with the LRGB in lighten mode. And what this means is when the H alpha is light, the image is lighter than the background LRGB, it uses the pixel from the H alpha. The LRGB is brighter, it uses the LRGB pixel. And so you can see some areas here where the LRGB shines through. But pretty much because it was a hydrogen alpha dominated background, you're seeing a lot of monochrome black. Well, what we want to do now is we want to take the monochrome black and we want to make it red. So we go to, in Photoshop, you can create something called a hue saturation layer using this little button down the bottom here where my, where my cursor is. And you can create a hue saturation layer and you would then right click on it and make it something called a clipping mask. And all that means is, that hue saturation layer is just going to apply to the H alpha, not the LRGB underneath it. And we're going to bring up in the hue saturation layer box that came up when we created that layer, we're going to click on this colorize button. And what that does is it, it will change the monochrome black to the color that we choose. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it red. And red is, this, is, is a zero setting out here in this hue slider box. So zero, colorize. And then we're going to adjust the saturation setting to make those red, gray pixels go red like magic. And now we're starting to see the H alpha is now red. It, we've artificially made it red, but it really is red. So um, it's now looking a lot more accurate. We're still seeing some LRGB shine through, which we want, but the H alpha is still dominating too much. So we can go in and we can fix that because we can go back to the layer of H alpha still and we can use curves to make it a bit darker. And because it's in light mode, the darker you make the H alpha, the less of it will show through over the LRGB. And we may, though, want to go a step further by just letting certain bits of the LRGB absolutely 100% shine through because there's a great deal of signal like in the Rosette Nebula. So the way we do that is again using this layer mask technique. And you would create a layer mask for your hydrogen alpha layer. There you can see a reveal all white mask. And we would paint black into the mask using over the image just to let the LRGB signal shine through the H alpha. And we would do it here and we would do it there. And there may be some other places that we want to do that where we don't want as much H alpha to, 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 to be dominant with its red color. And that then gives you a pretty good image at that stage. And finally, because the hue color of pure red is not quite what H alpha really looks like, it's meant to be kind of a bubblegum pink. The way to get that is you can tweak the final image by going into selective color and just adjusting the magenta slider up on the red channel and the yellow slider slightly down until it kind of looks right. And that will give you a really good saturated hydrogen alpha LRGB. And it will work pretty much on every H alpha LRGB image you'll do. Uh, you've just got to be careful not to overdo the amount of H alpha that shows through in this way using these two techniques of dimming the H alpha image and then letting things um, gradually uh, shine through with the mask. 